Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, One Blessed Mess. If you are new here, my name is Christy and I am a second year homeschooling mom of four kids with one on the way in November. And today I am going to share with you my history curriculum that I'm going to be using with my fourth grader, my third grader, and my first grader. So this year I am so, so excited because we are going to be using Not Grass, Our Star Spangled Story. And I'm going to go ahead and flip through the book for you as well as the student notebooks and the timeline and the picture books and everything that comes with it. It comes with so, so much. So I hope that you enjoy this video. All right, so this is Not Grass, Our Star Spangled Story. And when you order this curriculum, you get a part one and a part two textbook. You get Star Spangled Rhythms and Rhymes. You get an answer key and literature guide. Literature guide. You get a Star Spangled Timeline. And I believe you get one student workbook with the package, but you can order as many workbooks as you need, so I ordered three. So I'm going to go ahead and flip through each of these things for you so you can get an inside look at our Star Spangled story. Starting with the textbook, it is a hardcover. It is pretty thick and it comes with a part one and a part two. So when you open it up, it gives you a nice pretty map of early America. And then this just tells you about the curriculum package itself. And it goes right in to part one. And I just have to say that the illustrations and the pictures are just absolutely beautiful. So here's the table of contents here. Um, it will tell you about like how to use the book. It tells you the different units, the lessons within each of the units. This is a little letter to the student. This is a letter to the parent, and this is how to use our Star Spangled Story. So it lays it all out there for you on how to use it. It'll tell you about unit projects that you're going to be doing, how to use the Rhythm and Rhymes textbook, how to use the timeline, how to use the workbook. So if you have any questions about how this curriculum works, this beginning part will tell you everything that you need to know. And here is Unit 1, and it's going into the Indigenous people. So we chose this history curriculum because I love that it is a Christian-based curriculum. It has different Bible verses in it, and it tells about things like the Tower of Babel and how all of that plays into it, but it also doesn't shy away from talking about indigenous people and the first people here in America. And we wanted something that was like that, that was a little bit more diverse. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, we will be using this for my fourth, third, and first grader, and I will be teaching them all together. And it has pictures and illustrations and maps in this textbook. And it just goes into all the different highlights of America's story from the very beginning. Absolutely gorgeous. I cannot stress enough how quality this curriculum is. These pages, everything, it's just so well put together. And I'm just flipping through for you to see it. See an inside look. It's like a mixture of actual photographs, actual paintings, and illustrations. And I'm sure I'm going to learn a ton alongside my children this year. I'm really, really excited. So it looks like part one ends. ends around the railroads and then here is part two and I will say that it goes all the way up to more recent times so you have got a broad look from the indigenous people of America all the way up to 
It talks about 9-11. It talks about cell phones. I mean, just all kinds of highlights. It even talks about the freedom to homeschool. <laughs> so, absolutely love these textbooks. So, so, so excited to teach my kids out of these. We'll go into the Rhythms and Rhymes book now. And this is a companion to the curriculum that, once again, comes with it. And it has got all different kinds of songs and they have the tracks available to you off their website when you buy the curriculum so you can listen to it and have your children sing along and learn all of these folk songs and war songs and the Star Spangled Banner all kinds of American songs from throughout history So that is the rhythms and rhymes. And then here is the answer key and literature guide. So this is for the teacher. And so it gives you all of the answers to all of the questions in the student workbooks. And then here we have a Star Spangled Timeline. So this is another hardcover book. And this just sets all of the key events out in one big timeline. As each page goes on, it's got actual photographs and paintings and just all of the highlights. It even has all of the states when they became states in the Union. So this is an excellent companion to go along with textbook. And then here is the student workbook. And like I said, I got one for each of my homeschoolers this year. And what I love is that they are short lessons because we will probably be spending about a half hour to 45 minutes on history once a week. And each of these lessons are completely doable in that time frame. So like for instance, lesson one, after I read to them out of the textbook and we check out any of the companion that comes along with it, they are to dry, draw people from different countries, include people of different ages, or write a paragraph about things that are the same and things that are different for people who live in different parts of the world. So that would be lesson one. Lesson two is to color this Puebloan pottery jar. Puebloan pottery jar. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. So, um, and then it says see page 14 for examples of colors to use. So they're to use accurate colors for those kinds of jars. Very, very doable. So all of these lessons are not these long worksheets where they have to fill in the blanks and fill in vocabulary words. They are just using what they learned from the lesson to do these little activities that are actually pretty fun. And this is why I thought, I thought this would work really, really well with my first grader as well this year because there's not a ton of writing in the workbook. There's a lot of coloring. Um, and if there was anything that required writing, I would just help her out. So, yeah, it's just very, very short lessons. Very doable in the time frame that we want to use history for once a week. And there are 90 lessons. So, there are 90 lessons in all. So, it'll be perfect for doing once a week or even twice if we wanted to do it twice. Um, I know that some of these lessons are very, very short, so we could even maybe fit a couple lessons in on a day. And we'll just make it work for however we want to set up history this year. I was planning on doing it once a week, but like I said, the lessons are so short. 
we might and we might enjoy it so much we end up doing it more than that so that is an inside look at not grass history our star spangled story so thank you for joining me on this flip through of not grass is our star spangled story if you are new here hi i'm christy and i hope that you'll stick around and subscribe to my channel i hope that you like this video and comment down below letting me know what you're using for history this year and i will talk to you guys very very soon take care you look so beautiful and I'm so lucky to be yours And you're taking me